everybody. I'm Kyle. I'm Nick. Bourbon blind. Whiskey drinking. Reviews. No labels. No labels. It's in a bag. No hype. We don't know. Black bag. Kind of like a brown bag, but this one's black and cloth. Zero knowledge. Much more fancy. They, no knowledge. None. Inside or outside of the show, we have very little. That's, I'm, I am a jack of all trades if you consider no knowledge or experience a jack. He's going to change his name to Jack. <laughs> spice cider. Okay. It's like a like a all-spice apple mm -hmm. thing going on. Like a light brown sugar? Sure. Yeah. See that? Cinnamon. Part of that. C part C of that. Cinnamon. 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 Kind of part of that spice cider yeah. thing, right? Like, I dig the nose on this. This is very festive for the holidays. It is. Merry Christmas. That was solid. Wow. That was, that, some, was, that was some jingle bells. That was some like down home like triangle. I know. Shit that there. was that was some jingle bells. For it was. sure. Right, hold your glass up here. Just, just hold it. Ready? <laughs> You're welcome. Performed to you by us. For the record, that was just off top of the head, no practice, we're just that good. That was like, I give that a solid like nine and a half out of ten. I was going to say like 9.8, but yeah, I can yeah. see that. Um, there was a little bit of like hesitation on one of them that just like... Yeah, we really got to work on like, tone, but like aside from that, the execution was flawless. Alright, all right, ready? Okay. I'm going to just do the last part. That was perfect. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That was perfect. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We can't do much more or, or uh, YouTube will copyright. Yeah, like demonetize, like because yeah. that's like straight <laughs> off the original. Exactly. It was perfect. <laughs> Let's get in here. Uh, I already took my first sip, and it was delicious. More of that like apple cider spice <sighs> type stuff. Mm -hmm. More of that sweetness, that uh, brown sugar. Yeah. A little bit of like tobacco. Yeah, real light. Yeah, just just. There's there's a real, real, real faint astringency. Mm -hmm. Some vanilla creme brulee, like yep. the burnt sugar mm -hmm. from creme brulee. I, yeah. I dig it. This this would be a couch pour all day. What day. would you say the proof is? I'm I'm gonna guess it's pretty low. Uh, I'm gonna say low 90s, 90, 92, maybe high 80s. On a stretch, but I, I'm in I'm in mid to low nineties for sure. Well, 92, 94. Yeah, yeah, mid to low nineties. But there's nothing wrong with it. Mm. Like I said, this is a super couch pour. A little bit of like all day. If there was a sweet Rick House on on the new the new glass, it's been sitting for a minute. Like a sweet Rick House. Why does that make sense? <laughs> it shouldn't. It shouldn't. It, it definitely shouldn't, but like... If somebody know, sprinkled powdered sugar in a Rick house... <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you know, the, I put that in the same category as like the newspaper ink. Right. That we had from a couple episodes ago. Oh, uh, that was wild. That was wild. Yeah, I'm I'm super in this. Yeah, like I said, this this wouldn't be like a special occasion mm -hmm. or but like just hanging out with some friends, you want to focus on what you're doing or talking about and not like what you're drinking. Pour like a rocks glass of this half full. Good. Do you have a price in mind? I do. I'm gonna say a solid forty to fifty bucks. Yeah, I'm solid like thirty five, like, forty five bucks. Like like a solid, solid fifty bucks. Yeah. Like, like, like I said, 35, 45, if it was 50 bucks, I'd, I'd probably be like, yeah, it's fine. Like I'm in my head, like I'm toying with 60 and I'm like, I think that's too much. That's a bit of a stretch. I, it's a little too basic for anything over 50 bucks. Right. Like it's um, super good. It's just, it's, it's not, real good. It is a, not a whole lot going on. There. It is a definitive bourbon experience for me. Um, or like you said, this could be a total couch pour. Yeah. All day Like. Long. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. No. It it kind of reminds me of Russell's Reserve 
without the complexity or proof. So it doesn't remind you of Russell's Reserve at all. Like, it I reminds mean, me of Russell's Reserve, <laughs> minus everything. Or like a Four Roses single barrel. Like... I could see the Four Roses single barrel. You know the, what I mean? The basic off-the-shelf. Yeah, one. just the off-the-shelf. Not you know a pig I mean? or barrel proof or yeah. anything. Um, but just something that's like super, super good, not crazy expensive, and you just want to like drink the hell out of it. Jim Beam bonded. That's kind of what it kind of reminds me of. Right. Something that it's... It's got good flavor. It's not super complex. I don't feel like it's super expensive on the shelf. Um, and it's relative. I would, I hope, fingers crossed, that it's pretty readily available. Jim Beam Bonded, you can find most places. Let's find out. Are you ready? Do it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so. Okay, okay. It is the uh, Bardstown Fusion Series, okay, which is right about in that fifty to sixty dollars price range. Okay, so yeah, I was a little bit low, but I would be, I wouldn't be upset. I think you said fifty five. I said thirty five forty five. Oh, but you said if it was fifty five, if it was fifty, I'd so ninety four point nine. Nailed that. Um, Nailed it. Interesting. It's fifty six percent. Uh, Bardstown Zone, that's Ooh. four year. 70% corn, 18% rye, 12% malt and barley. Okay. 14% Bardstown's three year. Okay. Which is 60% corn, 26 rye, 10 wheat, and 6 malted barley. Okay. And 30% Kentucky 11 year. Ooh. That's 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley. Okay. So... Like, not mad. That's their Fusion Series number five. I love the corks of the Fusion Series. The Fusion Series and the Discovery Series. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, it doesn't look... It's not as heavy as the Discovery. Yeah. But it just like, looks the look fantastic. of it is, is really good. I like it. Um, and I like I, the little designs. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. They do little designs on the back of the bottles, and I think it's just really cool. It is. and Aesthetics they, matter. People. All the designs, I believe, are different on all the bottles. Yeah. Or yeah, all the, the series. The the series one through whatever they are right, right now, five or six. Um, all the all the patterns on the back are different, which is really and cool. You know what? I have yet to have a Bardstown that I don't like. We reviewed a Bardstown Discovery series. Gave it a hell of a price tag. Go I'm gonna say go click on that. Remind me when I forget to put it up there that I forgot to put it up there and I'll fix it. Hashtag Kyle forgot in the comments. That's a thing. Um, yeah, it's... Bardstown just puts out stuff that is on point. Their distillery is gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, their Super restaurant... Modern and just... Yeah. Their restaurant is mind-bending. Be prepared to spend some money when you go there. They have hands down, and it's rated mm -hmm. by numerous places as the number one whiskey collection in a bar in the entire country. I fully believe that. Uh, they have some insanely And everything that's on the menu bottles. is not everything that they have. They have stuff in the back, and if it's not open, it doesn't go on the menu. Right. And as stuff as stuff gets drank, they open up more stuff. Right. So they have, they have stuff is, from like the 50s, 60s. Yeah. And they're reasonably priced. Yeah. Which is what I really appreciate. Yeah. They're reasonably priced for what you're drinking, right? Like you're right. not going to go in and get... Some like 1970s Buffalo Trace something for $10 for a two ounce pour. No, but I think I but, got like a 1975 ish something. Um, yeah, when you, it was like 75, 76, something like that. When we yeah, were I there. think it was like $25 a pour. Yeah. Like, in reality, like that's not upsetting. No. At all. Not at all. Like, like they, they had some stuff, obviously, that was way more expensive than that. You know, that was hundreds of dollars for a pour and it was a one ounce instead of a two ounce right you know but like again it's one of those that when it when it's a when, when you can't ever find when it's a bottle that's from like the late 40s or early 50s mm -hmm. like you're never going to see that bottle in the wild or like more modern not super modern but like late 90s early 2000s um they had a Single barrel store pick Pappy Van Winkle twenty year, like wh where? 
Where? Show me where you're going to taste that. Right. Like, Show me where you're going to buy that, <laughs> aside from at Bardstown. I have seen one other bottle. It was astronomically expensive. All the money. And the pour on that one wasn't cheap, but no. it was way cheaper than buying that bottle. And again, it's one of those things that you could comfortably say in your group of friends, no one that you know has ever even known that bottle exists. Let alone tasted it. Let alone had a glass of it. So, so like uh, there's Barstown, amazing stuff. Like all their distillate, uh, they mix it with some of their other people's stuff that they source. And like I said, I have yet to have a bad Barstown. Right. Like they are all and what is fantastic. Two thirds, over two thirds of this bottle is their own juice, mm -hmm. um, or that batch at least. However you want to look at it, right. um, and. I do wish it was a little bit higher proof, a little bit closer to 100 proof, um, because I really think that that would right, that really life. accentuate a lot of those flavors. Yeah. Um, but I have absolutely no complaints. But also, at, at 55 bucks, like... Okay. Yeah. And it's a mixture of... Swipe. 3, 4, and 11 year. And the 11 year is 30%. It's not like it was 5%. Right. Like... Yeah. And the, and the 3 year... Is is the smallest portion of the batch. It's like thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, fourteen percent. Right. So it's the smallest portion of the batch. I don't think it brings down mm -mm. the experience. Wh whoever their master blender is over there, or their blending team, like killing it. Just keep Absolutely. keep doing what you're doing because we love Bardstown. It's just it's so good. It is. Yeah, I'm sure you've noticed. I don't always finish both of my glasses on the show. <laughs> Those are empty. Right? I, it's good. It is. it is. It's good. Um, so, um, Patreon, love you guys. Uh, Bourbon Blind on TikTok, Instagram, uh, bourbonblind.com for all your glassware needs. All kinds of stuff on there. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the comments. All those shameless plugging type stuff. And yeah, I think that's all we have to say today. We'll have more. Don't worry. There's more coming. There's more. So anyway, until uh, next week, Friday noon central. Cheers, drink blind. Drink bars down. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday noon central next week.